Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and a little bit over a year ago I introduced you guys to the Game UI database. It was just launched then, this is a massive resource for user interface designers and today there was a massive update. Basically the Game UI database 2.0 is now available. That's what we're going to go ahead and check out. So this is the Game UI database. It is a website, you can check it out at gameuidatabase.com. Uh, and as you can see, it is a giant library of user, experiment, uh, user experience elements for a huge swath of games. In fact, there's 1,341 games in there, including 55,099 screenshots and 1,731 videos. Now, the key thing here is if you're looking for a specific thing. So if you want to do a user interface design for uh, credits, for example, you can go here and narrow down and see just credit screens for a huge number of games. So for example, here, these are the credits screens from the Troy game, uh, the Roman War Troy saga. Um, and then on top of that, let's say you want to come in to see how to do a settings menu. Here you can see a variety of different settings menus for a number of different games. Uh, you can break things down by modals and pop-ups, cut scenes, you've got uh, various different game state things you can break down. You can notice by the number of different categories here just how much is available. So you want to see player menus, all player menus, uh, you can see those in action over here. So basically it is just a giant searchable, sortable, indexable database of user interface details. You even break it down into here uh, meta game features, things like monetization, premium stores, premium currencies, gotcha crates and boosters, upcoming unlocks, and so on. You've got details about HUDs, so uh, user displays, overlays, etc., all being done there as well. And then we've got settings here on the gameplay controller elements, and so on. So it's just a huge, huge resource. You can also then, um, when you're into results like this, you can filter them down up here. So for example here, you want to get specific colors, you can search for that particular color within those screens and get a result there as well. Again, you got a number of different filters down here. So if you're only interested in first person games with that purple color. Now, sadly, I have no match there. So if I do there, so we're going to get some matches that match. So this is I'm searching for a specific genre using a specific color on their uh, screens for, I forget what I started this off with, but you get an idea of what it's all about. You can even filter down by console, mobile, uh, handhelds, and so on. Uh, you've got control over the control settings to go ahead and see. As you can see, if you are looking for a screen reference for any kind of a user interface element, Game UI Database has you covered. Again, they've also got a ton of videos in here as well, so captures of the user experience in action, so you can see uh, what they look like in action, not just stills. It's an amazing resource, definitely one you want to know about. By the way, the same creator of the Game UI database has another tool. Uh, we'll get back to that in just a second. But first, a quick overview of what is in the Game UI database uh, 2.0 version. Here we've got the release notes. And honestly, it's so big. Uh, that it's not really worth going through uh, because there's just so much new stuff here. So you've got um, just massive improvements across the board. Uh, a lot of things on palette searching, uh, just sort of refinements in how everything works. So you get, again, this is the change log for the UI 2.0 update. I will have this link. So if you want to get into specifically what has changed with the game UI database, a lot. Uh, so the full release notes are available here. Uh, so if you want to check out the specifics of what is in this 2.0 release, you can see them in this document. What this shows, though, is it very much deserves the 2.0 moniker. So if you checked out the Game UI database and it didn't work for you before, it didn't have exactly what you needed. So for some reason, uh, you like the idea behind the Game UI DB, but for some reason, say the user interface, ironically enough, may not have worked for you. Well, this one is a massive overhaul of a lot of the features of the Game UI database. Same data behind the scenes, just kind of a huge update to how you actually work with it. Uh, so all those details are available here. So if you checked it out before and it wasn't for you, it's definitely worth checking it out again. By the way, the same creator also has a site called PadCrafter, uh, and this is a way of actually doing uh, UI maps for a variety of different controller schemes. So if you want to design controller schemes, uh, he has this tool available as well. So you can see some examples here. Here's the control schemes for Bayonetta on various different platforms like so. So if you want to do a quick definition or you need to create screenshots for um, you know, your controller setup or whatever, this is a tool for doing that. So this one is called PadCrafter. Again, this one is also in the web browser. It is available at padcrafter.com. And the other one we looked at today 
is the game UI database, which now has the game UI database 2.0 release available, available at gameuidatabase.com. A very handy tool, one you should definitely be aware of. If you've never checked it before, go ahead and do so. It's completely free to use. And again, some pretty massive changes with the 2.0 release. If you wanna go ahead and check out the details of those changes, they're all available right there. But it is an excellent tool and one you should definitely add to your repertoire. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.